In a world where ambition meets the sky, sometimes those dreams plummet. From ghostly airports to man-made islands standing silent, we're diving deep into the top eight most useless mega projects ever. You won't believe where all that money went. Let's get rolling. Number eight, Interstate H3, Hawaii. Built in the 1990s with a staggering cost of $1.3 billion, the Interstate H3 isn't just any highway. Across its 15.3 mile stretch, it stands as one of the priciest per mile in the world. But amidst Hawaii, Hawaii's tranquil ambiance, its existence has always been a point of contention. Originally designed for wartime troop movements, its transformation into a tool for civilian commuter traffic seemed somewhat misplaced, especially given the monumental financial and environmental costs it incurred. Sacred native lands were affected, ecosystems disrupted, and while it's a marvel of engineering, the societal and environmental toll raised eyebrows. The highway might offer unparalleled views of Oahu's landscapes, but at what price? Today, decades after its construction, the Interstate H3 remains a testament to ambition, but also raises a pertinent question. In the grand tapestry of Hawaii's paradise, was this costly endeavor truly necessary? Number 7. Ciudad Real Central Airport, Spain Inaugurated in 2009 with a towering budget of 1.1 billion euros, the Ciudad Real Central Airport in Spain was designed to be a game-changer. Positioned just two hours south of Madrid, it was envisioned to reduce congestion at Madrid's Barajas Airport and give a boost to the region's economy. Spanning over 32,000 acres, this airport boasted a runway long enough to accommodate the world's largest aircraft, the Airbus A380. With state-of-the-art facilities, it promised to handle up to 10 million passengers annually. Yet, just three years post its launch, the airport declared bankruptcy. Despite the colossal investment, flights were sparse. Its remote location, coupled with Spain's economic crisis and competition from better located airports, rendered it eerily vacant. The terminals, once bustling with anticipation, echoed with silence. The grand runways saw little of the colossal jets they were built for. By 2012, the airport was shuttered, transforming into a ghostly monument of miscalculated ambition. Although it briefly reopened in 2019, the scars of its dormant years are hard to ignore. Today, Ciudad Real Central Airport stands as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between vision and viability. In Spain's vast landscape, this modern megastructure poses a lingering question. Was ambition enough to justify its billion euro price tag? Number 6. Nepida, Myanmar as our exploration continues, let's shift our gaze to Southeast Asia. Unveiled in 2005, Naypyidaw wasn't just designed as a city. It was sculpted as Myanmar's ambitious vision for the future. Conceived in secrecy and built with an undisclosed budget, Naypyidaw sprawls over an impressive 4,800 square miles, six times the size of New York City, replacing Yangon as the nation's capital. It stands as a testament to what Myanmar hoped to achieve in modernity. Broad 20-lane highways, vast governmental edifices, luxurious hotels, and grand shopping malls, yet a conspicuous absence of bustling life. Despite its infrastructure that many metropolitans might envy, its spacious roads see few cars, and its vast residential zones remain largely uninhabited. So while Naypyidaw stands as a grand statement of ambition, one cannot help but question, in the heart of Myanmar, does this sprawling city signify visionary foresight or a miscalculated dream? Number 5. Forest City, Malaysia Build as an urban masterpiece, Forest City was set to revolutionize the landscape off Malaysia's southern coast. With a staggering budget of $100 billion, it was imagined as a harmonious blend of humanity and nature across four man-made islands offering homes to 700,000 residents. Think of a place where buildings are covered in lush vertical gardens, streets have multiple functional layers, and everything operates on green energy. Its location near Singapore, a global economic powerhouse, was a strategic move, intended to attract a flurry of international investment, predominantly from China. However, by 2019, the dynamic shifted. An overwhelming majority of the properties were in the hands of Chinese investors sparking political debates and interventions. The market responded with soaring prices, rendering the dream homes unattainable for many local Malaysians. Then came the global pandemic, casting a longer shadow over the project, turning the city from a potential bustling hub into a silent expanse. Forest City, once a symbol of lofty ambitions and innovation, now stands as a poignant reminder of the challenges in turning dreams into reality. Number 4. Yucca Mountain, United States Deep within the Nevada desert, the ridges of Yucca Mountain were chosen to be more than just a part of the arid landscape. 
Envisioned as the final resting place for America's nuclear waste, the project came with a whopping price tag of over $15 billion. The objective was clear-cut, to provide a safe, long-term solution for the radioactive waste accumulating from the nation's nuclear power plants. The site, meticulously picked for its geological stability, was to house waste tunnels deep below the mountain's crust, ensuring that the harmful radioactivity would remain isolated from the environment for millennia. But as with many mega-projects, the journey wasn't straightforward. Despite years of scientific research, political wrangling and public opposition began to overshadow Yucca's potential. Concerns about the safety, transportation, and the risk of groundwater contamination pushed the project into a quagmire of controversies. The turn of the century saw the momentum slowing, and by 2010, the U.S. government decided to pull the plug, leaving Yucca Mountain as a testament to an unresolved dilemma. Today, Yucca Mountain stands eerily silent, a vast monument to the complexities of balancing technology, ecology, and societal concerns. The aspirations to solve a critical issue lie dormant, buried deep within its rocky confines. Number 3. Rugong Hotel, North Korea The Phantom Skyscraper in the heart of Pyongyang, North Korea's capital, the Ryong Hotel stretches into the sky with its 105 stories, piercing the skyline with its iconic pyramid shape. Conceived in the 1980s, this mammoth project was North Korea's attempt to make a statement on the world stage, aiming to house five revolving restaurants and over 3,000 rooms. The construction began with much fanfare setting it on a course to become the world's tallest hotel, with an estimated cost soaring into the billions. The Rugong Hotel was envisioned as a beacon of luxury and a testament to the nation's ambitions. However, as the years went by, economic difficulties coupled with changing priorities began to weigh down the project. Construction was halted in the 90s, and the unfinished giant stood dormant for over a decade, earning it the title of the Hotel of Doom. Although efforts to revive its construction resurfaced in the 2000s, with exterior renovations completed by 2011, the interiors remain a mystery. The hotel has never hosted a guest, and its empty corridors echo the grand visions that were never realized. Today, the Ryong Hotel remains an enigmatic silhouette against Pyongyang's backdrop, a silent giant reflecting the challenges of translating grand dreams into tangible realities. Number 2. Aerotrain France the future that never took off. Zooming through the French countryside, the aerotrain was poised to be the next big thing in transportation during the 1960s and 70s. This innovative hover train, running on a cushion of air along elevated monorails, promised speeds of up to 430 kilometers an hour. With the aim to revolutionize the way people traveled, it was a symbol of French ingenuity and forward thinking. The prototypes were impressively futuristic, using jet or linear motion propulsion. Several test tracks were built and trials showed promising results. With an investment reaching hundreds of millions, the aerotrain was not just a concept, it was a working marvel that seemed destined to be the commute of tomorrow. Yet despite the technological marvel it represented, the aerotrain faced obstacles it couldn't surmount. The burgeoning TGV, Train a Grande Vitesse project, traditional high-speed rail, gained governmental favor, offering broader network connectivity and leveraging existing railway infrastructures. By 1977, the aerotrain's fate was sealed as the government chose to back the TGV, leaving the elevated monorails of the aerotrain to rust and memories. Today, remnants of its tracks stand as relics of a bygone era of innovation, reminding us of a future imagined but not pursued. Number 1. The Thames Estuary Airport, UK Nestled on the shimmering shores of the Thames Estuary in the United Kingdom, there once lay a grand vision for an airport that promised to resolve London's escalating air traffic congestion. Dubbed the Boris Island after its vocal supporter, London's former mayor, Boris Johnson, the Thames Estuary Airport aimed to be a state-of-the-art six-runway hub, capable of handling 150 million passengers annually. Introduced in the 1970s and revisited multiple times in subsequent decades, the concept seemed like a promising solution to Heathrow and Gatwick Airport's limitations. The estuary location promised ample space, potential for round-the-clock operations without noise restrictions, and the opportunity to redefine modern air travel. Initial estimates for this titanic venture ranged upwards of 50 billion pounds. However, the estuary dream began to face turbulence, environmental concerns, including disruption to the habitat of over 300,000 migrating birds, rose prominently. There were also challenges linked to its distance from central London, not to mention the massive logistical and financial implications of building infrastructure on such a vast scale in a relatively remote area. By the mid-2010s, the winds had shifted. Despite the soaring ambitions, the UK government decided against the Thames Estuary Airport, 
opting instead for the expansion of existing infrastructures. Today, the Thames estuary stands undisturbed, its tranquility bearing no trace of the colossal air hub that might have been. The vision remains, grounded in the annals of ambitious projects that never saw the light of day.